if you were a demon just as an example please if if you were a demon what will you be doing now to be efficient just think will you be you are yes you are sent to everybody but if you were a demon and you want to be productive what is the wisest approach to waste your time running around everybody on the streets or to settle down and fashion weapons the bible says no weapon fashion do you know what it means to fashion to fashion means to study what you will use that weapon for so if you were a demon will you just see someone on the street and start following him what is your name can i attack you no you find out okay i have an assignment to attack ten thousand people but out of those ten thousand people who are the top three that i can bring down first to make my work easy it is always the strategy of satan he looks for the strongest and brings down that means if you came here tonight is because the hand of god has perceived you as the strongest somewhere that the devil wants to attack and god is bringing you some of you for the sake of your family members so that you are strengthened you are delivered empowered and sent back as an agent with fire and with grace you believe this and let me tell you we're going to do a very quick walk tonight if there is no time to take testimonies no problem but i i my heart is burdened because when the lord told me jabez that means at the end of it honor and glory is what must come out of your life this night <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the lord don't sit back and allow the devil wreck your destiny wreck the destinies of those around you and say it does not matter i just know that one day go better god is a good god he will change things the bible says jabez cried unto the lord when you become passive you become very very sorry for want of word become very um very organized there is there is a desperation that you must carry the desperation of hannah the desperation of gideon the desperation of Jabez. Have you seen a woman going to give birth and she's interested in her makeup? That just when the child is about to come and says, sorry, I, I, I just need to make sure that, you know, this one is in place. Can I have a last look at myself? Huh? Have you seen that happen? There is a desperation. The woman with the issue of blood said, this is not the issue of shame. I'm tired of this nonsense. I will cry it. I will touch the head of his garment. Let me be punished later, but for now. There are some of you who are not yet angry enough. Sincerely, I'm telling you. You are still organized. You're saying, well, the poverty situation is not so bad. At least we can borrow money. Now you are owing more than 10 million. It started from 10,000 Naira. And the devil is an expert in growing it. Before you know it, you see that your whole destiny has been given to the company you are owing. Is that not what happened to the wife of the sons of the prophet? Remember, you think that she started by, they were going to take her children as collateral. Your children there does not just represent your physical child. Whatever it is that can make for continuity of your destiny. Satan can use things around your life and force you to carry your future and pay for today with it. I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you so that when it's time to pray and it's time to receive, you will do what Jabez did. Tonight is not just to shout amen. My job is to release grace with you and stand in faith with you. But you have a responsibility for God's sake to pray in holy anger. Give us that scripture. Verse 10. The Bible says, and God, and God granted him that which he requested. God granted him not that which he has been admiring in others not that which he, he wants passively i know it but it's just between me and god mm -mm. blind Bartimeo said thou son of david i don't care who else is hearing it have mercy on me and the people said keep quiet you are the one who knows the heart you are the one who knows what lack of employment has done to you 
you are the one who you you know it's always it's often said that the person wearing the shoes is the one who knows where it is hurting so when it's time to pray don't just stand and be organized and say well i i know I, I don't want people to see me let camera not pass me you have to deal with certain things once and for all this spirit of death that i'm always seeing in my dreams tonight is the time to deal with it i i, I reject untimely death but just say no it will not come it, that is a joke you are going to have to place aggression this door that opens for others but just when it gets to me that door closes somebody was supposed to sign something on your table and just because he turned to discuss a wind just pushed all the files and they can't find it again and that becomes fine what kind of satanic thing is that and you are here keeping quiet and he said it does not matter he will find it one day the same wind that pushed it must push it back was it not the east wind that blew that abba listen I'm, I'm i'm planting a holy anger in you father you gave me five children the devil is already taking two i assure you satan's plan is not to take two is to take all he took one and you kept quiet the bible says in the early church watch this the book of acts when satan took james and the church kept quiet they didn't do anything about it he said ah the bible says he proceeded further and he now took peter and the church said no more the bible says the church gathered together and began to pray the same angels that rescued peter were still there when james was dying but because there was silence and they did not pray the same angels that would deliver your family today they've always been there it's just that you've not given it the kind of aggression hallelujah listen let me tell you something someone once asked me a question i said apostle what does it take to build a global ministry like this and i looked at him with compassion i said which part of the answer now am i going to give this person one of it is a testimony in the spirit that you have mastered the art of keeping evil forces at bay when physical victory manifests it's because that victory has been established in the spirit please hear me it is not when your job manifests that god answered you <clears throat> when you deal with it in the realm of the spirit and it's finished you will find out that you can wake up in the morning that's why you see people come for service and sometimes they are ministered to there are a few people who may walk back maybe they, their healing has started and they did not feel anything you know and they may feel disappointed you hear them testify that they went home and slept and woke up because once it is done in the realm of the spirit that is it goliath died in the realm of the spirit david killed goliath before he met him there and he said mr man you are standing just as a mass of interruption i'm going to bring you down even with a stone so when we are going to pray now please i want you to pray with seriousness there are things that you wrote there are sicknesses in your body can i tell you we are in the days where headache can become cancer thanks to demons you will feel a little headache something that you will just say ah, it's paining me the next time the pain goes to this side then it goes to another place unconnected i'm not a doctor but you will know this is a demon spirit you hear people telling you there's something roaming around my body have you heard people say that it starts from my head you know how hard it is to move around your body even god had to put veins and arteries and here is a demon spirit walking around freely until you stop it by the power of the holy ghost how about businesses that are going down from january your business has been going down and you've just been watching it thank god for principles listen we are people of principles and we're intelligent people but we are people who place superior honor to the realm of the spirit the physical realm is a child a slave helpless slave to the realm of the spirit if you do not deal with things spiritually whatever effort you are making physically is a total waste of time i assure you if you're a ministry here as a man of God, it is not just by invitation, poster, social media. Those are physical things and they are profitable. The real victory is in the realm of the spirit. Apostle, why is it that people do not like me? I'm a sincere person. Every time someone wants to help me, they seem to forget. 
you think they make themselves forget there are wicked spirits what do you think made the wine presser to forget joseph and added two more years one man's forgetfulness added another man's pain hallelujah how about someone who just received some money that should bless the family and wipe their tears and all of a sudden three people went down somebody needs a surgery five million another person needs a surgery eight million another person has a mysterious sickness that we must fly the person to uk to check you calculate everything is the exact same money you collected someone just wants to help you and the devil will masquerade and use certain faces in the dream to now come and appear as an angel of light and say don't help this person that person is carrying a familiar spirit and your destiny helper gets up in the morning in fear because the devil use your face or use something else to money and you find out that uh, let me tell you africa especially is a place where people respect the realm of the spirit someone can be a very intelligent person he goes to bed and the devil just uses your face you come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person the person stands up and says oh so this is my enemy you go to the office the next day good afternoon sir you are leaving this job now what did i do no before you kill me i will kill you both of you are innocent there is a spirit joining this thing has happened even between husband and wife have you seen it happen that a man will go to sleep a wicked spirit will use the face of the wife and the man gets up and says, no no way not in this house and the devil is just standing stealing killing destroying in the name of jesus tonight by the power that raised jesus from the dead in the name of jesus christ every spirit masquerading through situations and circumstances to abort the glory of god in your life goes down this night goes down this night goes down this night the same way the lord can make it happen that someone goes to bed and suddenly he has a dream and it's about you and the person is thirsty and you are bringing water the person gets up in the morning and says you you got a job in this company when two weeks ago come you are promoted to my pa what happened i had a dream oh, and i saw you giving me water and in my mind i interpret it to mean you're a good person ah, life do you know i really feel sorry for people who downplay the realm of the spirit i'm a person of principles there are it's not all about just demons and the realm of the spirit but let me tell you in order of priority the physical realm came as the child of the realm of the spirit that means for anything physical it is only the after effect of something that has been settled in the spirit do you know a true story and then we'll begin to pray one time the lord opened my eyes and i saw something i saw someone who in the realm of the spirit he had already died but in the physical he was still walking he was still alive but in the realm of the spirit like this person has been buried in a coffin over now that person will be walking yet not knowing that you've been finished anything can kill you including a bike you just see that a bike pass and just hit someone and he fell down and they say both bones broke someone fell children go to pluck mango from a tree they fall from that tree and clean themselves and stand up and climb again and yet someone just fell from a bike and both of his bones you think that is just a fall listen we are god gave us a mind to think but let's be careful so that we do not allow the devil cheat us by just folding our arms when you see evil call it for what it is and deal with it by the blood ah, what is this pain that i'm having mysterious pain and the devil says cancer like it happened to your father like it happened to this and said no it will not happen to me i went to school that's not how the realm of the spirit works you stand there listen there is a way you open fire at the devil huh you have drawn a line 
anything you permit will grow hear me anything you permit will grow you permit failure it grows you permit the spirit of death it takes one step towards your house you turn back in the name of jesus christ this is how believers are taught to maintain victory hallelujah apostle but you know the truth is that the way after the pandemic it affected everybody my business has gone down till tomorrow i agree and i sympathize with you but do you know that for your business to come back it is going to take the favor of god the blessing like i taught the ministry of men have you called the men no i'm sure that god will just make it happen whereas somebody in the midst of that pandemic held on to the horns of the altar and shouted the door for his new level to open up i don't know who is angry in this place tonight but in the name of jesus i came here to release my faith with you that anything that does not name the name of christ it must live your life now please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus the son of the living god my life must be a capture of victory total victory total deliverance total liberation he who the son sets free is free indeed by the power of the holy ghost Someone is praying. Repa katoshe ke praska tebe leke tosh. Krante ke barosha praska teke tesh. Krapa katoska tebe leke tosh ke batia. Every mysterious sickness roaming around my body, I curse you by the God of Heaven, Spirit of Death. I call you by your name, and I banish you from my life, banish you from my family banish you from my business someone is praying shade kato shata balakos krapa kata kato skata frate ketesh krante ke perekos kata prande ke balakos yata hallelujah 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 now i'm going to lead you to pray the prayer that jabez prayed number one it says oh that thou wouldest bless me as i mentioned them i will lead you to pray this is the miracle service i want you to participate if you want to hold hands with someone to encourage you that is you can do that but by all means any spirit of slumber that wants you to sleep or just fold your arms and watch people is cheating you Say in the name of Jesus, Father, I decree and declare that by mercy let your blessing rest upon me, let your blessing rest upon me, rest upon my family. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The blessing of the Lord that make it rich and added no sorrow the blessing of the lord that causes a man to prevail oh that thou wouldest bless me bless me bless me i activate the blessing upon my life i activate the blessing i decree and declare blessed in the city Blessed in the country, blessed in Abuja, blessed in Lagos, blessed in the United Kingdom, blessed in South Africa, blessed in the United States, in the name of Jesus. Man of God, pray. Pray the blessing of the Lord. Pray it upon your spirit. Pray it upon your children. Now pray it upon the works of your hands. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the country. Blessed shall be your needing trough. Go ahead and pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. All the overflows, make sure you are praying. 
in the name of Jesus the blessing is upon me 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 speaking loud and clear speaking loud and clear speaking louder than any curse speaking that louder than any demonic thing one more minute you are praying shateke pakato safras katabekata kapra teke parako shakates the blessing is upon me prospering the works of my hands the blessing is upon me manifesting as signs and wonders the blessing is upon me turning me into a mysterious sign and wonder The blessing is upon me. Someone pray. Shaleke peke toshka ta frende ke parusia ta. Embra katu ka preska te peke tosh. Sobon tosh shoto ba leke tosh. Ibra tosh se veze ke te peke tosia For in Jesus' name we pray. Ah! For in Jesus' name we pray. I tell you things are shifting in the spirit now watch this do you know what allowed the flood to come what allowed the flood to come was that the blessing was withdrawn and was only it was completely withdrawn and that was the only possibility for the flood to come so when the flood was over watch this now when the flood was over the flood of noah now remember everything and everyone except noah his wife the three sons and their wives and the animals that were in the ark am i right on that these were the only things that were alive you find that noah came out and then noah reared an altar you find that in genesis chapter 8 and verse 21 and 22 he, he carried some of the animals that were left some of the animals came two by two some of the animals came seven by seven you will see that even some that were left noah still slaughtered them and they died but watch what happened when god wanted the earth to increase again give us genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. i want to show you the power of the blessing what did god do to noah same thing he did to adam you see and god blessed noah and his sons and said unto them be fruitful does that sound like something he had said before multiply that means every time god sees small things what he does to increase them is to make this same thing keep this scripture there because this is going to be your prayer that means in god's mind what it means to be blessed is to be fruitful what it means to be blessed is to multiply what it means to be blessed is to replenish you are not blessed in God's mind until he sees fruitfulness, until he sees multiplication, until he sees the ability to replenish and to subdue. This is God's idea. Every time you hear him speaking a blessing, he will break it down and say, this is my idea of being blessed. Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. Are you ready to pray? We are still praying the blessing prayer. Say, Father, as a result of the blessing, that is upon me I speak to my destiny be fruitful multiply and replenish open your mouth and begin to pray I am blessed blessed to be fruitful blessed to multiply nothing remains small in my life by the Spirit of God and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Koinonia and all those connected to her by prophecy and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons God bless.
bless Noah and his sons. You can call the name of your children. You can call the name of every company, everyone who is under your care. Declare upon them, be fruitful, multiply, be fruitful, multiply, replenish. Replenish, replenish, replenish. Replenish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. I'm telling you something is shifting in your life. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. You want to understand this? Let's go to Isaiah 54 from verse 1 and 3. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. He said, For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Verse 2. It says, Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtain of thy habitation. Spare not and lengthen thy cord and strengthen thy stakes. Why? Verse 3. Hallelujah. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Look at me. Do you know what it means to be enlarged? To be enlarged means to grow. That's how we grow. Is that true? We grow through enlargement. There are people who, respectfully speaking, I got to find out a few cases where some people remain children even in their, as adults. You still see them like children, like babies. It's a medical condition that people remain literally. You look at them, their face, nothing changes. There is no growth. There is no enlargement. Yet some of them are 25, 30 years, and they, are, see, they have the voice of children, everything around them. And when we talk of enlargement, we're not just talking of physical growth, financial growth, spiritual growth. The level of grace you've been functioning on for 10 years is still the same. The level of favor is still the same. Did the Bible not say grace and peace can be multiplied? Are you ready to pray that prayer of enlargement? That Father, I'm tired of being at this level for a long time. Enlarge me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Spiritually. This level of my prayer life, this level of my word study life, someone is praying, enlarge me by the spirit of the living God. Enlarge me in ministry. Enlarge me. Shapakato parakato shafragades. Krasagata farasko sebelegos. Embrakato shafrandes kalebash. Krateke belegate sefraskati balakos yata. Enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge coin on here, enlarge coin on here, enlarge my spiritual life, enlarge every aspect of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Shabrekate peketoska frateke parusiata, kaprekate peleko sate fraskate peledusiata. Hallelujah, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Don't be tired, you'll soon sit down. But listen, please look at me. What is the difference between a one room and a duplex? What is the difference? Space. Am I right on that? What is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion, as you call it? Space. What you can do in a one room, what you cannot do in a one room, you are able to do it in a duplex. Am I right on that? Now, just respectfully speaking, if you have one room, everything is there. The kitchen is there. 
the whatever is there are we together smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint it does not give you the opportunity to be efficient are we together now so imagine that you move from one room to a two bedroom now you can convert one maybe to be a library one to be a guest room have you seen people now respectfully speaking have you seen for instance say a couple a husband and a wife and maybe two children and all they have is one room you've seen what happens in the night the father is constrained maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby you see that now did you not read in your bible that solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space they slept on their visions and one killed they killed their children because of lack of space let me tell you enlargement is a blessing what 10,000 cannot do 1 million can do are we together now yes oh my man needs to be treated and the bill is 200,000 and that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is 10,000 but when God enlarges you you have more space you can even be a blessing what this level of anointing can do cannot do this level of anointing can do are we together now yes this level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members not to insult but that is what it can do it cannot bring you a global ministry this way no no you cannot put the tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry can that work but they are all tires so when you bring that small tire how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time is only sufficient to take you to the mechanic you see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires and sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole those cars can come and pass as if they're, they're not even aware that's what enlargement does when you are limited when you are constrained five children you are living on fifty thousand. it's not a blessing oh let me tell you the truth not in our world today you are anointed you pray you have to pray for one week for headache to go you can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way I told you people don't follow men they follow results when you are a man that commands that result it will look like they are following you but what they really follow are results it takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by God for people to look beyond results and now start following men enlarge my coast enlarge my I've prayed this prayer many times this ministry did not start like this and this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there so why is it that your life is remaining that way one more time I want you to refuse look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it open your mouth and pray one last time father enlarge me by the spirit of the living God enlarge me by the spirit of the living God for the sake of your glory for the excellency of your name please pray hallelujah number three let your hand be with me hallelujah let your hand be with me let your hand be with me you are going to pray this is what is responsible for advancement this is what is responsible for speed when the hand of the Lord comes upon men they refuse to stay not just at that level but even in that location it is God that moves men when you find stagnancy what you need is the hand of God the hand of God moves men. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses to advance. Say, Father.
one more time say father in the name of Jesus by your hand advance me by your hand advance my destiny open your mouth and begin to pray by your hand by your hand by your hand advance me in ministry by your hand advance me in every area of life someone is praying advance me advance me by your spirit hallelujah 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 and with the last prayer point it will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can fire is going to begin to fall in this place now give us the last prayer point keep me from evil listen the psalmist said he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty is that true verse 2 says give us verse 2 i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler from the noisome pestilence verse 4 he shall cover thee with his feather and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be and thy buckler verse 5 it says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor the arrow that flyeth by day verse 6 nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor the destruction that wasted at noonday seven a thousand shall fall by thy side and ten thousand by thy right side but it shall not come nigh thee last verse only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked listen do you know what it means for god to keep you to keep you means lord i will not die before my time hallelujah i was listening to a video this morning by late archbishop benson idahosa and he was teaching somewhere in the states and he was just sharing how that when god gave him an instruction in benin then and he went and he was praying and praying and god gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say Benin belongs to Jesus and he said he prayed in the spirit of fear came what if you would die he said in one of the days when you got there he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them his name was written there can I tell you saying I do not trouble anybody nobody would trouble me is a joke all it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born the moment you find yourself here, you have to understand the warfare dimension of life. Are we together now? I'm saying this because many of you do not know. You are a man of God here. I want you to listen. Daily, daily, there are demons and spirits. It's only when we go to heaven that I will know how many shrines, how many pots, how many sacrifices carry my name daily. But they will continue to boil it as dinner, lunch, supper. It will, it will have no effect. Not because, listen, not because we are powerful on our own. We have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name. That there is immunity in that blood. Are you ready to pray now? Say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, the blood of the eternal covenant, every covenant, me, me to, failure, to failure to death to, death, to weakness to, to defeat to right now by the blood let it be broken open your mouth and pray
every covenant every covenant tying me to death witchcraft defeat yokes ordinances no matter how long be broken no matter how long be broken no matter how long be broken every covenant that says people will not rise that says people will not shine hallelujah hallelujah oh be lifted above all other gods we lay our crown and worship you oh be lifted above all other gods we lay our crown Halabarado. very sensitive listen there was a time in my life I have met angels I have encountered demon spirits by the privilege of God's grace I have encountered Jesus the living Christ the realm of the spirit is not an unfamiliar path I know a bit about how spiritual things work the first time I would encounter a demon spirit I was praying in the night somewhere in Zaria and there was a generator close to that place and I was praying and going close to that place and the next thing I moved here and there is a solid being standing this is not vision and the only thing he said was get back and when he said that I looked and I spontaneously I just blasted in tongues and like you are seeing this and you don't see it again and I said what is this the next time I would have this I was praying I think I was in a period of fasting and praying or so and then my room the ceiling just disappeared and then I'm seeing this giant creature it looks like a dinosaur very mighty the eyes will be like this the size of one man's head you can imagine my head being the eye so imagine how the head will be and it had a long tail but that tail had its own life that means you could detach the tail from the being and it will still be alive red eyes and it was looking at me and it says so you think you will how did what I can't even remember what so you think you would bring God's people into abundance I remember and I said ah so this is the spirit that sits upon men's destinies they don't know they think it's joblessness they think it's just family conflict they don't know that these are wicked spirits by reason of the apostolic and the prophetic call I have been exposed to visions I have encountered spirits some of the songs that you hear us sing i didn't write them these were songs that i heard from the realm of the spirit and i brought it down and wrote it so when you see me minister to people i'm not ministering from a standpoint of ignorance 
there are real spirits sitting on the destinies of men and they may not know ladies and gentlemen whoever told the woman who was bound for 18 years that there was an actual spirit holding her like that this woman kept going hoping that things would change if spirits can bind men can they bind businesses if spirits can they bind destinies and Jesus looks at the woman and says woman thou art loosed from your infirmity she did not even know what happened suddenly a spirit that has been comfortable for 18 years that woman would have remained like that some of you have had some conditions around your life um, it's like that I just feel dizzy sometimes I grew up like that you are like that woman that has been bound but Jesus came and he said no matter how long it has been the longest condition we know that a man has been in in the Bible was 38 years we don't know how long it took Job the Bible does not record time but at least we know that the longest recorded time where a man stayed in his tragedy was 38 years then there was 12 years but when Jesus came and said woman thou art loosed from your infirmity and then he laid hands and took that woman up and when the other people started talking stupid talk he said ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound lo all these years that means in Satan's economy time does not matter don't say after 10 years I will be free you will never be free because of the passage of time you will be free by the forceful manifestation of the power the name and the blood so listen I'm saying that so that as I begin to minister now will be very fast that every condition you know long-standing conditions don't tolerate it and say it's been there this bad luck has followed me since I was five years now I'm 50 years it's like that anytime people want to do things make sure it gives way this night the man was sitting at Bethesda John 5 the Bible says something happened there that every time an angel will come and stir the waters but the man had no one to help him and then Jesus comes to him the Bible says he was there for 38 years calls him an impotent man did his father not give him a name what was his name there are many of you your condition has swallowed your name that people only identify that guy that family that has bad luck as if they don't have a name that woman whose children are all miserable that one who's that that church that does not grow the impotent man and Jesus said no this is not how it works you notice all these sick people the Bible did not seem to care about their names because there's something about demonic oppression. It, it does not just ruin your life, it ruins your name. Notice, the woman with the issue of blood, no name. The man at blind Bartimaeus, no name. The man at the pool, no name. Because every time the devil attacks, among the many things he's looking for is your name. Your honor is in your name. Your reputation is in your name. I'm saying this because I want to minister to people whose names have been diminishing. You may not have something wrong with your life, but your condition has swallowed up your name. Honor that God has given your family is about going down because it does not look, it looks like there are conditions that have stained your name. Hallelujah. Every time you see kings rise, the Bible will always call their name, even if they were given other names. But when you find people plagued with conditions, you hardly hear their names. The woman with the issue of blood, the man born blind, the man at the pool, blind Bartimaeus, the man who was sitting at gate beautiful. Look at that. Oppression among the many things it seeks to take away from you is your name because you see part of the blessing that God gave Abraham in Genesis 12 is a great name I will bless you and I will make your name great 
if you are great alone your children cannot be great because there's nothing for them to inherit when you go you go with your greatness but when your name is great anybody who comes under that name can continue being great today we mention names when you talk about names of you know american presidents great people today they are long gone you see but their names so when satan wants to destroy you he does something to your name are you ready to pray so when you see me minister deliverance it's not just about people shouting and coming out and rolling under the anointing no 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 deliverance has nothing to do with shouting and rolling it's about taking authority are we together now that which is is fighting all of these things as i mentioned in your life they clear out of the way fighting your ministry your health your life and all of a sudden you will find out that after deliverance the bible says there shall be holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession deliverance happens upon mount zion that is a proper place for deliverance i'm, I'm ready to pray now you will not do anything yet just just listen to me you see the thing with the anointing is that you have to wait on God you don't assume this is what the Lord is speaking to my ears and he's telling me now that as we in this silence that the Spirit of God there are people and destinies that he wants to uproot things and the moment that happens the power of God is going to start moving please I want you to bring those people here you will not need to shout I'm the one who will just make a statement and uprooting I'm seeing like a weed you know how a farmer is removing weed this is what I'm saying father you have spoken and in the name of Jesus I declare that everyone under the sound of my voice please when you just bring those people out ushers or all those who need to help help them let's make it very fast so that we'll finish on time in the name of Jesus Christ everyone who has had a planting in their life or their family that needs to be uprooted my god i'm seeing fire in this place in the name of jesus right now let it be uprooted bring them out whether you're an usher or not please help them if anyone is under the anointing close to you just bring them out so that we'll save time Bring them out this is an instruction that the holy ghost gave you will never stand i'm telling you if this, if there is if there is something to be uprooted there is an energy a, a force from heaven please bring them men and women my Bible says every tree that has not been planted by God that tree will be uprooted that's what God is doing right now uprooting by the Spirit of God uprooting by the Spirit of God you will marvel at the testimonies that follow uprooting things look at the wonder walking power of Jesus my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands. Bring them out. Yeshua Hallelujah Something mysterious is going to happen here now. 
there are people watch this I just saw fire through the congregation please help them there are people who will start running this is not speed this is this is a deliverance but they will start running hold them and bring them to the front this is not speed in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the ministry of fire that everyone under any captivity in the name of Jesus Christ by this sign that God has given may the Lord himself begin to bring them out now bring them out now please help the ushers oppression comes to an end by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah let me talk to those outside not the other overflows just outside those outside I want you to lift your hands I want to pray for you the Lord is showing me something I want to pray for those outside right now lift your hands at the count of three those outside I want you to shout the name Jesus and as you shout that name Jesus the hand of the Lord is going to come on a few people and there will be massive deliverance just the overflow outside as I count three I want you to shout Jesus one two three shout Jesus I want you to carry those outside and bring them to the front by the spirit of the living God. God is doing a very marvelous work in their lives. Now, let me pray for everyone. Anyone here under the plague of witchcraft? Yokes of ancestry. You're about to shout the name Jesus. My God, I'm seeing fire falling already yokes of ancestry at the count of three shout that name jesus one two three shout jesus be released now be released now be released now be released now, be released now. business is under siege families under siege destiny is under siege bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out. Hallelujah. The Lord wants me to speak to the men. There are spirits that have tied men in many families so that they will not rise. It's like the men become the women and the women are the men. They have to depend on the women to feed. I'm seeing at least eight people with this case. Right now the fire of God is coming on all those men. Inside, outside, everywhere. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Every man be delivered now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every altar tying down men, tying down destinies. Give way now. Give way now. Give way now. hallelujah hallelujah I'm hearing a name victory 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 we don't have all the time um, my, my intention is for us to finish on time so I'm not going to be doing too much of um, but I'm hearing the name victory wherever that person who is victory your name is victory I want to pray for you God has remembered your family I release grace upon you now by the power of the Holy Ghost, God has remembered your family in the name of Jesus Christ. 
who is Abdullahi. I'm hearing a name. This, this is, I don't know if it's your name, your son name, but I'm hearing the name Abdullahi. Abdullahi, you would think that this is supposed to be another name, Abdullahi. I just heard that name. I don't know where that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, the mantle that has been looking for you, that is searching for your head, in Jesus' name, let it rest on you now. Yeah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord God's people. The Lord bless you so much. Thank you so much for staying tuned to this time, watching this ministration from God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. We believe so much that these messages and the words and the prayers and the declarations are impacting your life so much, so much so that you are not beginning to conform to the image of the Christ. That the blessings in scriptures are for us to take. It is for us to take, for us, our generation, our sons, our daughters, for us to take. It is not just there as written words. The Bible said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The communications we hear are sounds from our videos on Reflector of TV. It is not just there to just um, be a video alone, but it has to let it be a form of impact, a form of a transmission of these blessings from God's servant, Apostle Jesus Selman, to you who is listening and who is following and who is watching, that your life transforms and take a whole new turn by the power of the Spirit of God. So we bless you so much. Thank you so much for staying today this time. For those of us who are yet to subscribe to this channel, Reflector of TV, we advise you to do so because we have a lot of videos about God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. If you love God's servant and you love God, we we'll love you to subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned with us. Click on your notification bell to always receive updates on all of our latest and newest uploads. We upload videos every day on this channel. Praise the Lord. And for those of us who, are, who have been asking and saying that, um, where can I download Apostle Jesus Selma messages? Where can I see his audio messages to download and listen to? Um, we'd love you to follow on our description, the description box. We will have a link there for all of the messages that we upload. Our Telegram channel is there. You can follow our, channel at our Telegram channel or you can follow our WhatsApp channel to get most of these videos. You can go through our, our short slide to watch short video of Apostle Jesus Selma and these videos will surely, 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 no doubt, by the Spirit of God, bless your life greatly in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, God people. We love you. We celebrate you. And please stay tuned to watch the next video. The Lord bless you so much.